using a micro input module with the Video VBox. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to create a scene that allows us to display RPM and throttle angle using a micro input module. The micro input module connects to the CAN port on both the Video VBox Lite and Video VBox Pro. To use the micro input module, first you have to configure the Video VBox scene to define which channels you will be using. We will load in a preloaded scene with a rev counter and add a throttle display in the form of a bar graph. In the Scenes Properties tab, under Video VBox Type, make sure VCI is not ticked, and if you are using a Video VBox Lite, then tick the Lite box. Expand the CAN and Module Configuration section, and you should have a section for Micro Input Module. Select the channels you wish to configure. In this case, we are going to log RPM and throttle angle, so start by clicking on the Freak button to configure the frequency input channel. Start by ticking Log to include this parameter in the VBO data file. Now rename this channel to REVS. Now set the units to RPM. Now you need to set the scale for this channel. The module measures pulses per second, so to convert into REVS per minute, you need to apply a correction factor. Luckily, there's a handy conversion table on our website under Support, Tips and Draining, Scale and Offset Calculator. Typically, for a four-cylinder engine, the scale will be 30, and for an eight-cylinder, it will be 15. This may change depending on how the RPM signal is obtained. We'll use 30 in this example. Then set the maximum value to the highest you are likely to achieve. In this case, we will set it to 6000 RPM. Now click on Apply. Now we can set up the analog throttle input. Click on the Voltage 1 button and tick the log box. Now rename the channel to Throttle. A typical throttle sensor will give an output of 0 volts when closed and around 5 volts when fully open. To display this as a percentage, set the scale to 20 the units to percent and the maximum to 100. Then click on Apply. Now you will need to set up an element to display these values in the scene. Select the RPM gauge and then expand the background properties. Under Parameter, select Micro Input Module and then REVS. If we are using 6000 maximum, you may want to change the scale of the gauge. To do this, you will need to edit the text on the gauge, but first let's expose more of the gauge to give us a larger range. I can select the gauge and the text elements by drawing a box around them. Note, I have to make the box big enough to include the extent of the round gauge, which is hidden behind the speedometer. In doing so, one of the text elements of the speedometer is also selected, so we can remove this from the selection by holding down the control key and clicking on the element. You can now drag the grouped elements from underneath the speedo. Now change the text elements so they show up to 6000 RPM. I'll speed this bit up as it takes a little while. There we go. Next, you will need to change the maximum range to 6000 and change the display range of the needle. Expand the needle section and use the slider to see the path of the needle. To change this, click on the reset button and you will now find that the range of the needle has reverted to a full 360 degrees. Use the slider to point to 0 RPM and then click on Set Minimum. Now use the slider to point to the maximum RPM and click on Set Maximum. You should now have configured the gauge to work up to 6000 RPM. Next, we can add a bar graph element to display throttle angle. Select single bar graph and then select one of the preloaded bar graphs. Now you can click and drag this bar graph, but be careful to select the outside of the bar graph instead of the actual bar graph. Now you can associate this bar graph with the throttle parameter you have set previously. Expand the bar graph section and select micro input module and then throttle. Set the range minimum to 0 and the maximum to 100. You can now upload this scene to an SD card and install it in the video VBox. Remember to save the scene for future use.